Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to understand the protein sorting into the ER. So targeting protein to the endoplasmic reticulums. Okay, so protein can be translocated into the ER by the two mechanism. Okay, first co-translation translocation and second one is the post-translation translocation. So, what is the co-translation uh, translocation in which protein can be translocated into the ER either during the uh, synthesis on the membrane-bound ribosome. Now, the second is post-translation translocation. That means the uh, translation, okay, protein uh, translation has been completed on free ribosome in the cytosol or ER-bound ribosome. So, in mammalian cells, most protein uh, enter the ER by the co-translationally or co-translation uh, translocation. But in the uh, yeast, they uh, play, they having both pathways, co-translation and post-translation. Okay. So, co-translation, translocation and post-translation, translocation. So, uh, here it is the first image, okay, co-translation, translocation, in which this, this is the uh, ribosome, okay, anti uh, sorry, this is the endoplasmic reticulums, okay, ER vesicle membrane, this is a translocan uh, protein, or you can also say transmembrane protein, this is the ribosome, all are the ribosome. So, the first ribosome are uh, targeted for binding to the ER membrane. Okay, so uh, ribosome are bound binding to the ER membrane by the amino acid sequence. Okay, so this is the amino acid sequence which indicates the red, uh, red color okay, of the polypeptide chain being synthesized. First, ribosome synthesizes the uh, polypeptide chain. Okay, <coughs> they also uh, we can also say, say the signal sequence. Okay, we also say the signal sequence. This is the N terminal signal sequence. Okay. So see, uh, see uh, so now the translation with ER vesicles. Okay, so this is the co-translation. That means the translation uh, has been uh, going into the ER lumen. Okay. So post-translation. So first, uh, MI binds to the ribosome and synthesizes the signal sequence and terminal. Both signal sequence. Okay, here it is also N terminal. N terminal sig uh, signal sequence synthesized. Okay, entire protein, okay, protein containing signal sequence, entire protein once synthesized and then transferred to the ER lumen. Okay, so this is the post translation translocation. So now we understand the uh, signal sequence. Okay, suppose this is the signal sequence of growth hormones. Okay, uh, so this is the signal sequence uh, span about the 15 to 40 amino acids. Okay, this is total about the uh, 15 to 40 amino acid sequence including stages of 7 to 12 hydrophobic residues. This is the clavage site of signal peptidase. Okay, here it is a uh, peptidase clavage to the signal sequence and removed from the ER lumen. Okay, so for growth hormones contain stage of hydrophobic amino acid. This is a yellow. Okay, so this is a 7 to 12 hydrophobic residues. Okay. Received by basic residues arginine. Okay. So this is the basic residue, it is the arginine. So now we understand the uh, co-translation first into the ER. Okay, so co-translation. So co-translation in the first step is the signal sequence. As, uh, as earlier I described, okay, is a signal sequence. This is a signal sequence synthesized by the protein. Okay, the signal, N-terminal signal sequence emerges from the ribosome it recognizes and bound by the signal recognized particle this is a srp okay so this is a srp so srp signal recognized particle okay this consisting of six polypeptides and small cytoplasmic rna okay so this is a made up of six polypeptides and small cytoplasmic rna now this uh, uh, srp binds the ribosome once it binds the ribosome as well as the signal sequence, inhibiting further translation and targeting the entire complex. Okay, so they uh, inhibiting the uh, translation here. They, once they binds the SRP to the uh, ribosome as well as uh, signal sequence. 
So now the complex, this is, this is called the SRP, the bosome, mRNA and growing po polypeptide chain. Okay, so these all are the uh, complex. They contain the SRP ribosome, mRNA and uh, polypeptide chain. To the rough ER by binding the SRP receptor. Okay, so this is the SRP receptor which is present in the ER membrane. Okay, uh, rough ER membrane. So binding to the receptor. Okay, once the binding to the receptor. Uh, SRP binds to the SRP receptor uh, which is uh, in the uh, rough ER membrane. Okay, uh, triggers the hydrolysis of GTP bound to the SRP, releasing the SRP from the both the ribosome and signal sequence of growing polypeptide chain, and then uh, they uh, remove from the this complex. Okay, ribosome and polypeptide chain. Now the sec uh, the uh, uh, translation resume. Okay, then this translation is resumed and the signal sequence is cleared by signal peptidase. Okay, once this translation is resumed. Okay, so first step, this is a uh, SRP, uh, SRP, comp, SRP plus ribosome and the uh, signal sequence which binds to the SRP receptor. Uh, in second step, the uh, sorry, uh, second step and third in third step, uh, SRP uh, that hydro, GTP hydrolysis and SRP is removed, and then uh, resume the uh, in third step resume the translation. Okay, sorry, in step four resume this translation okay then fifth step okay the for continuous translation drives translo uh, translocation of the growing uh, polypeptide chain across the membrane in six steps the completed polypeptide chain is released within the ER lumen this is the ER lumen okay. so ribosome can bind to the protein transfer complex transferring the ER and the signal sequentially into the membrane channel okay so this is all the so in this experiment key insights okay the, uh, so the tom uh, repopot and his colleagues uh, he described the uh, translocation through the er membrane okay uh, the structure of the protein so in both yeast and mammalian cells the translocations through the er membrane are uh, complexes of three transmembrane proteins called the sec61 proteins these are the um, transmembrane proteins which were uh, present in both okay, yeast and mammalian cells. That is that is the same. Okay, so uh, this is all about today's videos. I, I hope this will help you. Thank you.